<laughs> Sunday. Ice King? Excuse me, sir, but what, what are you doing in here? Uh, sir, are you are you okay? I excuse me, Mr. Ice King. Is everything okay? It was all my fault. All of it. Every single bit of it was my fault. What, what do you mean? What do you mean it, all of it was your fault? She just loved gingerbread so much. Are you... Are you talking about Sunday? How did you know her name? With this, I found a photo of you and Sunday together. She's your daughter, isn't she? Yes. And she's also the ghost that's haunting this place, isn't she? Isn't she? Admit it. What happened to her? Hey, what's going on in here? Why is the Ice King here, Aubrey? He's gonna tell us how he knows Sunday. Tell us everything. All right, fine. I will tell you. Sunday was my sweet, sweet daughter. She worked here at the Ice King ice cream a long time ago. And her favorite thing in the world was Christmas, especially gingerbread. Is, is she a ghost now? Is she the one that Aubrey saw? Yes. My sweet, sweet Sunday is no longer with us. Oh, I remember it almost like it was yesterday, even though I've been trying my best for years to forget. She was standing in that exact same spot, in this exact same room, almost on this exact same day. So excited. I can't believe it. I'm the one that gets to come up with the Christmas flavor this year. It's the best flavor yet. I call this absolutely delicious ice cream flavor the gingerbread cone. Hmm, well, what exactly is it made out of, Sunday? Just my favorite ice cream ever. Gingerbread ice cream with Christmas sprinkles all on a gingerbread cone. Dad, I'm sure the customers are absolutely gonna love it. I'm just so happy that I was the one that got to pick the Christmas flavor this year. And gingerbread is just the best. And you know what I was thinking too, that we could add to this gingerbread cone to make it even more delicious and special? I wanna put a gingerbread man on top of each cone, not just one, but two, so each of them has a friend. Well, the gingerbread cone does sound pretty good, Sunday. I think the customers will really like it. Besides, we'll put to good use all of these gingerbread men that we have ordered, which I still need to taste test sample. Hmm, I'll have to put that on my to-do list. Taste the gingerbread. I want to be the one to taste test the gingerbread. I know all different types of gingerbread. I can tell just how bland they taste all the way completely to the potent flavors that you can taste on your tongue. So let me be in charge of the quality control, Dad. All right, fine, Sunday. Here, here are two gingerbread men for you to eat and sample and tell me if you think the flavor is up to Ice King standards. Oh, look at how good the gingerbread cone looks whenever you stick the gingerbread men all the way into the ice cream until just their heads are sticking out. I think this is how we should sell the ice cream cones. Sunday, it's very creative and all, but you actually need to sample the gingerbread to see if they are delicious or not. Here, try this gingerbread and tell me if it's tasty or not. <laughs> it's really, really good. <laughs> it's really good. Please do not talk and chew at the same time. I don't want the gingerbread to go down the wrong pipe, so you got to be careful now, all right? Here, here's another gingerbread. I have to go outside and make sure our new Christmas signs are out. I'll be back to check on you. Okay, Dad, I'll be fine. Little did I know that Sunday wouldn't be fine. I told her to not talk with her mouth full. I told her to please be careful. My little Sunday. I'm so sorry that happened to you and your family. I wanted to cancel Christmas altogether. I wanted to stop coming to work, but I couldn't do that to the customers. Salt was added to my family's wound of the loss of Sunday when a truckload of gingerbread ice cream got delivered to the store. I refused to sell any of that gingerbread ice cream. I wanted absolutely no memory of what had happened. And just like that, gingerbread was never sold at the Ice King ice cream ever again. I put all the leftover ice cream into this room, locked the door, and no one ever has brought up Sunday's name ever again. Until employees say they started to see something. A girl. A ghost. I thought it was just a cruel prank that they were telling me. That they were seeing Sunday around the store even though she was no longer with us. I fired them all on the spot. But thankfully I found Liam and hired him. I have been very lucky that Liam is such a hard worker. You practically live at this store. I haven't talked about Sunday in a very, very long time. And I must ask you, is it true that you really have been seeing her here in the store? And you're not just playing some cruel joke. No, it's it's true. She's been trying to get in contact with Aubrey. And I saw her on the surveillance footage, but I, I can't find it now. I tried pulling it back up, but it looks like the footage is missing. It seems like Sunday wants something. 
and her spirit still lingers here until she gets what she wants. Will you help us figure it out so she may rest in peace? Oh, I know exactly what would make Sunday happy. 